So there's been a lot of talk in the Eastgate community just recently around uh, body armour protection. So if you do have a crash, you can walk away, you can shake it off without any dramas whatsoever. To that end, I basically picked up these Impact Evo knee guards. Uh, so I had a bit of an off a uh, month or so back uh, where I was wearing uh, G4 pads and they slipped down and I really managed to hurt myself. Uh, so I figured immediately jump on Amazon and buy what uh, one of the Eastgate guys had recommended to me. So this particular knee pad um, is only about, I don't know, I think it's, it's currently up for about 57, but some of the some other guys mentioned to me that it was coming, they'd seen it for around the 20, 30 pound mark on a sort of a prime special day. So just keep an eye on that. Now, as far as protection goes, they are second to none. They're absolutely awesome. Um, it's, it, you know, unless you're talking real motorcycle speed, as in, you know, you, you're doing 50, 100, 180, whatever it might be, these aren't going to help. But if you're talking e skate speeds, I don't know, anywhere between 20 and 30, 30, 40 miles an hour, these uh, are absolutely ideal. Now, what I don't like about them, and you probably have spotted, I have tied these all off, is you know, during the course of a ride, these will slip and they will come looser. And if you just sort of imagine I was wearing these, they will slide down and become basically useless, which is which is not exactly ideal. So I had debated whether or not to use a safety pin or just tie them off or otherwise, but that is a real, a, a sort of a, a real design flaw. But as far as general protection goes, these are awesome for just throwing on. It only takes a moment. So they use these like little little clips, so you can clip them in um, within a few moments. The only the only ir irritation I do find is so it has these little circular discs that you are supposed to sort of clip into the bindings here. Uh, they are a massive ball ache to try and get if you're in a hurry and you don't get, don't align it correctly. It, it just it doesn't secure correctly, which is you know just a nightmare. Um, not the end of the world for the price. I believe there is a higher end model to this one here, uh, which is about twice the price. It's, th this problem goes away, but it's something to sort of bear in mind if you're sort of you 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 find yourself taking you know gear on and off very very quickly. So so bear in mind. Um, yeah, so as far as the rest of it goes, they're really comfortable. I've ridden these for quite some miles without any particular issues other than the ones I've already sort of stated. Uh, the flexibility is good. Yeah, I think, you know, generally for the price, an all-round decent knee guard. So, yeah, definitely a thumbs up from me. Uh, just make sure you make these <laughs> studio engineering changes uh, before you start taking it out on the road. So, hope that was useful. Cheers, guys. Bye.